Hey everyone, this is Dan Charles with Light Forex. It's Wednesday, February 26th. I'm going to break down the major Forex pairs for the midweek edition, starting with the Australian USD. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you like the videos, and go to the description below this video and check out the link to Light Forex. Okay, let's start with the Australian USD. Okay, so clearly we're setting up bearish. We busted through very important support level yesterday. You can see we were holding some support the last uh, few days at the low. Uh, the low was 0.6585. We pulled up on that price yesterday. So when I saw this, I was thinking that if we could break, that support is strong. But if we obviously, if we busted through that support, we were going to continue this drop and clearly what happened was we continued this drop now if you look at this pattern drop drop they look very similar so we could definitely come down a little bit more but we will be due for that rebound let's take a look at the australian futures see if we see anything different not much different here you could see we were holding that same type of support dropping uh, the low though was six five five four. Yeah, I just feel like this drop is very similar. Big drop here, a little bit of a rebound, drop down here. Uh, you, I can see that we could uh, we could go a little bit more, but look for that rebound to come very very quickly. On to the euro, euro USD. Okay, there we are. So the euro USD is holding the support at the open holding the support at the open 1.0853 so that is key but this is a very weak weak breakout uh, on today's candle uh, i would not be surprised if this uh, pulls back it just looks not very strong if we're looking at the uh, the higher time frames you can just see the 240 and you can see it's a very very weak um, long upper wick this could definitely pull back. Clearly, it's trending to the upside. Clearly, we're trending up. But it's just a very, very weak, uh, weak candle right now. So look for that to pull back. You can see the resistance hit. We're looking at the 60-minute, the high today of uh, 1.0900. So... There it is. There's that resistance. As we look, investigate closer, resistance at that 1.0900. We are setting up to at least try again. If we blow this up, but that resistance looks pretty strong. So price needs to bust through that resistance to continue this this uptrend. Obviously, we got this support down here that needs to continue to hold. Let's take a look at the euro futures euro futures not much different nothing different to look at but just i just look at that uh the 240 and it just looks very very bearish like we could definitely come back so look for that pullback okay on to the pound the pound usd pound usd you can see it's clearly trending down but this has just been so choppy it's trending down, but it's it's choppy. Uh, it looks more like it's going to attempt to bust through the support at 1.2872. That's what looks like it's going to happen. But when you're this choppy, you could easily just rebound and keep going up, keep going down. And it's definitely, you can just see the lower highs in place. You can see it's clearly trending down more than anything. But uh, let's see if it can hold that support. To me, this looks like it's going to bust through. It's going to break through that support tomorrow. I'm anticipating. I'm being more bearish for the pound USD. And looking at the futures, this is definitely setting up more to the downside. But of course, we have to watch this support at 29, 2900. We have to watch that support. We're right around that price now. And just knowing how choppy this can be, we could easily hold that 29 support and bounce up to the upside. Really needs to get above 
uh, 1.3 thousand though to really uh, confirm this uh, any sort of bullishness. The weekly chart clearly setting up bearish. Um, now the 240 is looking bearish, but we did put in a higher low, and we are extended from the moving average. So what needs to happen is it needs to bust through that that support. And that's how I would be playing this. If it busts strongly through that support, then I think this is going to come down and I'd be looking for uh, a longer move down. And maybe we'll get out of this choppiness. It's going to go on a nice long drop. We'll see how that plays out. But of course, if it holds the support, breaks above 3,000 in the next couple of days, then we might look for a long set setup. Okay, New Zealand USD. All right, so there was support. You can see here, support at 6,300. You can see the last previous two days, there was uh, support at the lows, 6,303, 6,303. That exact price pulling up. And then yesterday, it really set up bearish. This was a real strong setup to come down and bust through that support at 6,300. And that's exactly what happened. It looks like there's more downside, although looking at the lower time frames, the 60, you can clearly see that we're trying to put in some strong support around 62.93 here. So if that can hold, if it can break above 63.05, these these are the the prices I'd be looking at. Of course, if it busts through that support, it's going to go lower. I'd be looking to be a bear. But if it can bust through 63.06, then we could get um, a turnaround here. But clearly, we're bearish. And just the question is, how much longer, how much more can this, uh, can this go? How much more can this drop? And anything can keep dropping, but it's always going to pull back uh, on a downtrend. It's going to pull up, set up. And continue the downtrend the next leg down here we are looking at the New Zealand futures and the low 6294 very odd all this green dropping and green but the same thing we're holding some support on the 60 and you can see it on the 240 as well that's 6294 support does look like it wants to come down and and break it though putting in some resistance, putting in some lower highs. It looks more bearish than anything, but uh, we'll reevaluate this one next day. On to the USD CAD. Now the USD CAD was very choppy recently. It was up, it was down, it was up, it was down. It finally breaks out and I was definitely bullish from the 24th and when I looked at this yesterday I was going to be continue to be bullish for today now today it did pull up slightly at the resistance price roughly around 33.17 where it had trouble before on this pullback holding the support here on 32.19 strong support here breakout but it needs to break through this resistance uh, I'd be surprised if it doesn't bust through that tomorrow needs to hold 33 you could easily pull back hold that 33 support and then maybe by friday it breaks through maybe it comes down tomorrow holds that support and then continues the breakout look for that but i'm going to continue to be bullish on the usd cad but let's take a look at the canadian dollar because it is obviously bearish and I've been saying for a while that the support on the Canadian dollar is strong at 75 cents. Being in Canada, I know about the Canadian dollar, so I know that support is strong. And you can see it did pull up on that, uh, that support. You can see it on the weekly chart. That support is strong. So that's what we have to watch with this one. Clearly, the USD CAD hit resistance as did the Canadian dollar hitting support. So we'll see how strong the Canadian dollar is tomorrow. Of course, if this busts through, then obviously the, the USD CAD is going to break through resistance and you're going to be bullish. 
and the Canadian dollar is going to be quite bearish. So let's see if the Canadian dollar can hold that 75 in the next two days. That's going to be critical that it holds that price. Okay, USD yen. USD yen, after going on this big, uh, big breakout, it needed to pull back. Broke through a bunch of these support levels I drew in. And here we are. We're hovering around this support at 110.22. They also had in as keys. So you can see here, uh, this was resistance around 110.22, going back to January 17th, 16th, 20th. Pulls back, holds support. Here we are. We, we have some trouble busting through that resistance again, pulling back. And we bust through massively on the 19th of February, breaking out. But here we are the last two days. We're, we're still holding that support. So that needs to continue to happen. We do have some resistance around 110.70. So you want to see a break and close above that price. And of course, 111 as well to really continue this uptrend. Now, of course, if this breaks below support, this is going to come down lower and we have next level of support around 109.88 of course we have to look at 110 always 110 as the support and resistance level so that's how i would play the usd yen let's take a look at the yen futures see how that's shaping up yen futures okay so well, the yen futures looks looks more bullish. It did pull back today. Uh, yeah, it uh, it looks more bullish. Let's take a look at the the 240. The 240 is clearly pulling back right now. There's support at 0 0.0090425. You can see that there. Let's blow up the 60. Okay, so the 60. We are. Yeah, so I would want to see this above 0 0.0090900. I'd like to see this break above that to continue this uptrend. We have strong support where we are right now, which is 0 0.0090605. Let's see if that can hold. It doesn't look very strong right now, actually. So the lower time frames are looking like this wants to come down. It's definitely not a strong candle today. It's very, very weak. Putting in a lower high. Mm, you know what? This one's a wait and see. We go back to the yen to end it on that. It uh, This would be the recipe that I would be playing out. Break above 110.70. Break above 111. That's what I'd be waiting for. For any sort of setup, bullish needs to hold these support levels. Very key support, 110.22 roughly needs to hold. And that's how I would play these Forex pairs for Thursday and Friday. Okay, so that's the breakdown for February 26th. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.